Let's dig into the AI news that you might have missed this week, starting with the fact that OpenAI just made their deep research available on the free plan. Now, I've found this deep research to be really helpful. Now, if I jump into the free version of ChatGPT here, you can see that the deep research option is available here in the free plan. If I hover over it, you can see I've got five available until May 25th. So basically five uses over the course of a month on the free plan of ChatGPT. They do say we're expanding usage for plus team and pro users by introducing a lightweight version of deep research in order to increase current rate limits. We're also rolling out the lightweight version to free users. So what does it mean is rolling out the light version to me? So reading through the thread here, the lightweight version of deep research is powered by a version of 04 mini nearly as intelligent as the deep research people already know and love while being significantly cheaper to serve responses will typically be shorter while maintaining the depth and quality you've come to expect why do we have a limit on the normal deep research where we get downgraded to the later version i don't totally know and since we're already talking about open ai let's talk about the open model that they have planned the new model that they're planning rumor has it it's going to come out around june sometime this tech crunch article says early summer but the rumor mill is claiming june-ish but this model will be available to download at no cost and won't be gated behind an api so it'll be likely one that you run on your other ios app called the perplexity assistant it kind of does what people have always hoped siri would do so on top of asking basic questions which you were able to do already you could do things like play media, have it draft emails, move meetings for you, book rides, make reservations, set reminders, things like that. More examples they give, you can ask it to play podcasts, hard to find videos, favorite songs, review your day, schedule meetings, send emails. Aravind, the CEO of Perplexity, does warn that some of these features are still a bit janky and they're kind of getting there, but pretty cool to see a lot of these features roll out and sort of become like a better version of what Siri should be.